Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read. We're going to talk about Friday, but before we get into the tarot cards to see what the day has in store for us, I do want to announce yet again, there is another scammer out there pretending to be me, pretending to be the awakened dreamer. And if I remember correctly, or I noticed it correctly in the screenshots that were taken that were sent to me by one of my subscribers, uh, this individual is choosing to reach out to select people, uh, again, pretending to be me on Instagram. And uh, this individual is choosing to rant and speak upon religion, God, this and that, and um, quote even the Bible, which I personally don't do. No offense to those who are religious. I know the majority of people are, um, but I wouldn't do that first and foremost. And also is giving out a WhatsApp number, which I don't even use that app, okay? I wouldn't reach out uh, to begin with in that manner. Um, so please ignore it, report it if you so choose. And again, just know I would not do that. All right. But what do we have for Friday? For Friday. Um, the Queen of Wands, as I just sounded really weird. I feel like there's a focus on you passionately getting your voice out there, potentially like myself in one, if not multiple ways, as well, or in general, getting spirits voice out there, whether it's one, if not several um, different spirits joining you or sticking with you for uh, the time being. But I feel like you have a sense of awareness that you're not uh, remembering uh, when it comes to maybe what you went through and or what you're about to experience, gain, uh, go through in general. I do want to say that you're very much uh, changing the game for yourself and maybe uh, other people of importance in your life. Uh, I'm feeling like you do have an influence if you look at all these candles. That's just how that's coming through. Uh, whether this is online, in person, you name it. I feel like you are very much making a difference in your own individual way. Now, this could be simply in regards to, you know, say, uh, the power of your energy, your presence, uh, maybe even uh, what you say uh, casually but ends up being helpful for one, if not multiple people, maybe a collective or two, um, or three at most is what I'm getting. But I do feel like either way, a lot of which drawn to the reading, again, like myself, will be choosing to continue to, or maybe start to in general, get your voice out there. Um, and again, that could be partially, if not uh, mainly spirit's voice. And it's very effective, all right? Just know that your helpful nature is shining uh, in a very, I wanna say simplistic, but complex, passionate manner. Um, and people are noticing you in a beautiful light. Now as well, now that we have the Empress card out with the Queen of Wands as well, I wouldn't be surprised if you're very much feeling within your feminine energy, but being pushed to focus upon maybe the recent days or rewinding a bit further back for some, when you are feeling more uh, in touch, more one with your masculine energy, that masculine side. But the Magician card is well coming out because I feel like you're manifesting um, a lot at this time. It feels like your world is meant to become uh, transformed towards more magic, more success moving forward. Um, but I do feel like these two pairing together, there's something that you're meant to give birth to moving forward. And I feel like you are casually even manifesting and maybe co-creating more so with the spiritual realm, a, a new, uh, the opportunity to give birth to whatever this ends up being for you. And, and now when we talk about these two cards, once again, I feel like this is going to be something that feels quite obvious to you as far as what you've been wanting, desiring, speaking to your guides, angels, to the universe. And they're saying it's something that you at least partially, if not fully believe, is meant to come to be. Um, I also feel like being drawn to this reading throughout this energy period, you're being reminded in certain ways and uh, with certain levels of evidence even, that you're very, very intuitive. So when you feel something deeply, even if you're being pushed to remember something you felt uh, you know, deep within on a core level or winding back, you, we need to trust that, okay, or get back to trusting it because it feels like this collective and I'm guilty of it as well. At times without meaning to and other points meaning to purposely ignoring your intuition and this is not going to serve you uh, maybe outside factors in your world justice uh, throughout it all. So make sure you're trusting uh, what you feel, your intuition uh, all the meanwhile. What else do we have? What you wear is of significance, and I feel like as well, um, the way you feel, I mean, I know we were just speaking upon feelings and intuition, but what you're feeling about maybe somebody, uh, uh, maybe a couple connections in your life, or it could be where you're living, where you're working, that's um, of significance. 
Um, it may teach you and or remind you of something that you're going through change-wise. Um, or maybe it will highlight a change that needs to come to be more so moving forward. But I do sense that there is some heaviness in your world. This could be, again, uh, a residence kind of situation where you're living. It could be work. It could be when you're running your business or trying to. It could be your spirituality or that connection or two. But regardless of how this looks and is experienced felt for you, you need to have patience. All right. And I know it's not always that cut and dry, black and white, easy in the moment or even surrounding it. But we need to do our best to each individually take the energy at hand or whatever difficulty, again, heaviness is at hand and be uh, a reason for it to feel at least to be experienced in a lighter manner. Right. Say, for example, you're working a day to day job or maybe you're more so reflecting upon this job uh, from the recent past. Um, you maybe can't or shouldn't control certain factors of how heavy and um, difficult that job can be, but you can make it easier on yourself, maybe by adjusting your perspective, maybe by, uh, you know, realigning your focus, um, your energy all the meanwhile. But maybe you also need to um, adjust an approach or two uh, when it comes to a task or maybe that job uh, situation as a whole. Do you see what I'm saying? And it doesn't have to be work, of course. It's just a prime example coming through. Again, whether you're more so reflecting upon this energy from the past uh, and or are dealing with it currently throughout this energy period. Um, but the judgment card, it does feel like you're being pushed to think about honesty. Have you been uh, completely honest with yourself? In going further with that message, yes, you can be honest with yourself in a very stern and a productive manner but are you following through with that right have you been doing something too much and then it, you know and you admit and you even speak to yourself in a positive manner uh, again productively saying you're doing this too much but then you continue to do it or you slip back into the, uh, that bad habit um, time and time again or in uh, certain points you see what I'm saying so it's about taking that honesty implementing it or re-implementing it if need be and following through um, and I know that's obviously kind of like the patience easier said than done in certain moments, especially when certain factors I feel affect you um, for the better and or for the worse. But um, people's true intentions are also taking a highlight. I don't know why that's coming through. Um, it kind of is bringing me back to the original uh, forewarning message uh, about the scam artist. Anyways, but as we get ready to wrap up this short reading, I feel like this is a day where you're needing to remember how your independence is working to your advantage and potentially one if not multiple situations that are meant to be or simply are important to you and maybe to other people all the meanwhile. But I do feel like you're, you are seeing with these three pentacle cards being very positive to end this reading uh, that spirit wants you to remember or maybe realize for the first time individually you're meant for a lot of wealth. Okay, you're meant for a lot of independent success and connected success, uh, you know, here and there or throughout it all. You're meant for new money. You're meant for uh, continued growth and potential and even new forms of which you're meant for a lot more. Okay, so I hope this was truly really helpful. Sending you so much love and light.